In this question, we have to solve 4x squared minus 16x plus 15 is equal to 0. This is a classical quadratic equation of degree 2. You can see the highest power is 2, so it's of degree 2. The equation we are given was 4x squared minus 16x plus 15 is equal to 0. Now, there are so many various ways that you can go about employing this. And ideally, I would like you to attempt whichever method you want to attempt and let's compare our final answer together but i'll be using the factorization method okay let's try and see what we get if we try solving this with the factorization method the factorization method will make use of the products of the roots and the sum of the roots and the product of the roots will be the product of this the first term and this last term 4x squared and 15 so there we have 4 times 15 to be 60 so we are looking for a product that amount to 60x squared okay then the sum the sum will amount to here yeah, the middle term that is minus 16x so we are looking for the sum to be minus 16x now the mandate before us is to look for two particular terms that if you multiply them we have 60 x square and if you sum them we'll have minus 16x now this is the way i love to go about it okay just as a rough sketch let's take the products we have 60 you know we have x square okay so Let's just keep the hex. But now, you can try and do a division of 60. 2 can go in 60. We have that to give us 30. Okay. 2 can go in 30. We have that to give us 15. 3, we can use to divide 15 to give us 5. And then 5, we can use to divide 5 to give us 1. Let's look at the juxtaposition of these terms. Okay. These terms that we have here. Let's look at it and try and see the one that will give us um, reasonable terms that we can multiply together to give 60s squared and we can add together to give minus 16s. Now, you will notice that it is positive 60s squared and we know by reason of algebra that if you multiply two negative numbers, okay, that's going to give you a positive number. So if you have to keep that in mind, and we have to look at all these numbers that we are giving. For example, we can say we want to use 2 and 2, then 3 and 5. You know, 2 times 2, that will give us 4. Then 3 times 5, that will give us 15. So if we have x, add x to the 2. Now, can we multiply these two to give us 60? Yes, it can give us 60 x squared. But can we add them or can we subtract them to give us minus 16x? Now, because if you multiply these two, they will give us 60 squared. If you also use the negative values, the negatives will multiply each other to be positive, like I have stated here. Then the numbers, they will also, 4 and 15 will be 60, x and x will be x squared. So the product is quite usable in that case. But what about the sum? If we are going to sum this, if we are taking the positive values, if you said 4x plus 15x, of course that is that is 19x all right so that is not giving us minus 16s if we take the negatives minus 4x minus 19 that will be minus 19x of course is also not giving us this minus 16s so this is not going to be useful for us okay now alternatively if you want to pick these two and this three okay and also these two and this five so we have two and three that is six okay then two and five that is ten okay of course we are also working with x we can see that in the multiplication of the two definitely we are going to have 60 x square okay in the addition of the two that's going to give us 16 x but hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is looking like what we are really looking for. But we know that if we take the negative of these two numbers and we are to operate on them, 
like say we have minus 6x okay and minus 10x we know the product okay if you are to multiply these two that will mean the negative multiplied by the negative will give us a positive 6 times 10 will give us 60 x times x will give us s square so that is on track but not stopping there if we're also going to sum these two so you still have the same minus 6x and minus 10x but what we are doing is that we are adding them okay we are adding them together all we're going to have is minus 6x plus minus 10x that is minus 6x minus 10x which is minus 16x so wow this definitely is what we are looking for and since we are getting these two variables minus 6x and minus 10x what we are going to do is this let me clear my board first so we got two terms we got minus 6x and minus 10x now these two what we are going to do is this instead of writing minus 16x we are going to write the sum of these two such that we are going to have i would love to divide my board now okay so i'm going to have this 4x square instead of minus 16x since i know that the sum of minus 6x and minus 10x is the same as minus 16 and i can just say i have this as minus 6x minus 10x plus 15 is equal to 0 and if you can see you can see that i've really not changed anything in this equation because minus 6x minus 10x is minus 16x that is the consistency that will help us to solve questions on quadratic equation using the factorization method now i now need to collect like terms look at this i have 4x square minus 6x i can see that x is common to the two of them i have x here i have x here but additionally i know that 4 2 can be used to divide 4 and 2 can also be used to divide 6 so in that case what i'm going to have is this that means that 2x is common to this first two terms now from 4x square if i have taken 2x out it will still remain 2x because 2 times 2 is 4 okay x times x is x square now minus 6x divided by 2x that is 3 because 2x times minus 3 is minus 6x that's the consistency okay now looking at this minus 10x and minus 15 what is the common factor that i can pick from them i know that 5 can actually go in 10 and 5 can also be used to divide 15 meaning that i can easily factor out 5 but note this this is where students make mistake you need to take note of your sign yeah if i say i'm saying minus 5 minus 10x over minus 5 i'm having minus 10x divided by minus 5 the negative sign will cancel each other okay then 5 here 1 5 in 10 2 and i still retain that x so here i'm going to have 2x okay then in the second case i'm having 15 a positive 15 divided by minus 5 okay now look at this a positive number divided by a negative number will be a negative number 5 can go here 1 5 can go in 15 3 okay so this is going to be minus 3 so i can here i can write minus 3 is equal to 0 and you can see i can now have 2x minus 3 common to these two terms of the equation as i am solving them and now i can just factor out those recurring 2x minus 3 by saying i have i have let me use another ink here i have 2x minus 3 is common to both now if i've taken 2x minus 3 out of here what is remaining i still have this particular 2x this one here and now i've taken 2x minus 3 out what is remaining i have minus 5 is equal to 0 okay now looking at this that means we have 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 because those are the two factors 
that we are considering okay so in the first case that means 2x is equal to 3 when this minus 3 moves to the right hand side or i have it as 2x is equal to what is equal to 5 if i divide both sides by 2 in the two instances these two will cancel here and these two will also cancel here now here i will have it as x is equal to 3 over 2 what is 3 over 2 is the same as 1 over number 1 over 2 because 2 can go in 3 in one place that will still remain 1 so i have this one here over the same 2 and here i can say x is equal to 2 can go in 5 that will be in 2 place okay 2 times 2 is 4 5 minus 4 that is 1 which is the remainder over 2 so that means that for my question what i'm having as my answer is 1 or number 1 over 2 or 2 or number 1 over 2 and if i look at the options you can see option b option b here here is saying 1 or number 1 over 2 or 2 or number 1 over 2 is the solution to this question all right So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.